Bruce Anderson has a question for Aaron. Hey, Aaron, can I connect a 4-ohm load nominal speaker, which has a minimum impedance of 2.6 ohms, to a tone winner 2-channel amplifier? Will the amp suffer in playback at closer to reference volumes? Oh, I don't know anything about the tone winner. I mean, if it's 4-ohm capable, then you probably, you probably should be able to. So but the dipping down to 2.6 right? 2. ohms is not a big deal. Yeah. yeah, I mean, and it also depends apparently like on what the phase angle is as well to the load mm -hmm. or um, on the load, I should say. But yeah, generally speaking, man, I don't think I've come across any four ohm capable amplifiers that have had an issue running speakers that dip down. You know, mm -hmm. I would say you're probably OK, but that's one good thing about Tone Winner. I'm assuming they probably have a pretty good return policy. Can't hurt to try it or just. Email the manufacturer and ask them before you buy it. That's what I would yeah. do. Yeah, yeah. Sure. that's probably your best. Yeah, let them know what speakers you've got. And see if that. I would be curious to know how many people have run into cases where they're using, you know, specific amplifier and a specific mm -hmm. speaker, and and it wouldn't work. Like, how many times do people run sure. into that outside mm -hmm. of an AVR? Yeah, because mm -hmm. I'm willing to bet it's like really, really small, unless the, the speaker is just <laughs> not so well a, made or not well designed. So. My friend Ryan, who lives in Kansas City, he has the, I don't know the model number, but they're Martin Logan's, the Electrostats. <laughs> I was going to say. Had, he had some of the, um, I want to say it's Crown amplifiers. It's either Crown or QSC. I think it's Crown. Mm -hmm. um, and he kept tripping them, like continually. And so he had to upgrade his front LCR to be able to handle those to a much bigger, like a lot more expensive Crown. Hmm. So he's Didn't got something happen at your uh, M wave event with the giant electro sets. It's always those things. They're they're the ones. Well, I mean, <laughs> kind of. There were yeah. There was one amplifier that kind of. Well, you know, I guess you don't have to say the names, but yeah, it went up in smokes. Yeah, and it, the crazy thing is, it was one of the higher end amplifiers. It wasn't the cheap one. The OSD handled it just fine. That's crazy. <laughs> so. Yeah. So I've you know I haven't had any issues. With like hard to drive speakers, you know, some of the low impedance ones, lower impedance ones. Yeah. I haven't had any issues with, you know, more current amplifiers. Um, but I did have an issue with my old, old school Marantz. Yeah. Uh, it was a 2220B. So it was like, you know, they claim 20 watts channels, like, low, you know, old school, like one of those old school AVRs. And when I plug in a four ohm speaker, it, it just would like the, the sound would dip. Like it didn't yeah. like it at all. So Junior you know, said those those Martin Logans go down to 0.5 ohms. No 0.5. wonder they trip. Yeah, yeah you need like a cheater app for those. My clips they'll go down to I think around 2.4. I believe is what I remember. Like during real heavy bass notes or low frequencies, but I've never had. I've always had like a three channel accurate amp, so 200 by three. Never. I mean, I've cranked it. Never once had a thing clip or you know shut down or trip or anything. Is it is it true though that the class D stuff is kind of likes the lower impedance? I don't know. I don't know so sure. much about amplifiers, but I've, I don't know that I've heard that. Stuff. Yeah, I'm not sure. I, it, sh it shouldn't have an issue driving them though. Uh, like mm -hmm. modern class D amplifiers shouldn't have mm -hmm. an issue driving those. Mm -hmm. They're just generally more efficient too, so that helps. Um, yeah. yeah. Along the same lines of this conversation, I'm getting in a Macintosh MC four six two oh. to, to play around with. So Look at you. I know it, dude. Well, the opportunity making your dreams come true. Yeah, man. The opportunity uh -oh. came up, and I was like, mm -hmm. I don't know how I'm going to objectively review an amplifier, but right. I'm going to try yeah. because I couldn't turn down the opportunity. They were like, sure. well, we'll send it out to you for two months, and then you know, do whatever you can with it. And I was yeah. like, uh, okay. Ask him <laughs> so, if you can try to blow it up. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. You know, <laughs> you know, what, it could try it to like a 0.5 ohm load or something. Push it to the limits and. It, yeah, yeah. It could be hey, your, hey. First, uh, your first non non objective review. How about that? Yeah, there you yeah. go. I'm just I'm not gonna measure anything. I, I don't care. Tell you what I think about it. How it. how just, it measures? I don't. It's just blue light. Aaron's like, man, this thing's heavy. I, don't, I just like, don't care. Yeah. I love hey, Aaron, it. It, it Aaron, looks good. Come out yeah. to my gig, dude. We'll power the big speakers off of that thing. We'll there get it perfect. Trip. We'll perfect. get it to blow. Perfectly reasonable. I'll just fly out there with that hundred pound thing. I'll put it. I'll check it. I won't check it actually. I'll put it as carry on. I'll carry put it in my on. Backpack. Yeah, I'll put it in my backpack. Stud over. You know, you know, I, my my deadlifts have gone up a lot, so that shouldn't be a problem at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. yeah. gonna he's gonna be like uh, on his review. He's gonna be like, you know, the just the texture of the distortion 
just you know, <laughs> the, it had yeah, the noise floor like, was the noise angelic. Floor. Yeah, the noise floor sounded really good. It's the best noise floor I've ever heard in my life. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, with that, sounds... I've got a split, but that was good right, chat with you guys. All right, man. All right. Awesome. Peace out, night, everybody. Later, man. Yeah. Don't, don't rip your pants. I'll try not to. <laughs> Later. Now, if you can't catch the show, we do have an audio version at anchor.fm slash daily hi-fi. So make sure to go on over there if you like to listen to the show.